Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? So today I'm here at SoFi and uh, you can see I have a personal loan. Um, I didn't walk you guys through the process. I did that last time and uh, the only thing at the end is you uh, sign documents and it's pretty straight, easy and straightforward. I, uh, I recommend it. It's uh, You just have to initial a couple places and sign a couple places and that's it. You're done. And it's all done in DocuSign. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Um, like I said before, uh, SoFi, one-stop shop, right? Uh, the loan interest rate is a little high, but it's just short term. Uh, won't, won't be having it for that long. I just needed, uh, like a hard money loan, uh, for a deal I'm doing. So, uh, if you guys want to learn about all that stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel, become a member and join up. Uh, here we go. We have our, uh, redeeming. We got 280 points, so I got some free money. All right, help me pay off that loan. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to put it in the checking account. I'm going to say next, and I'm going to cash out the whole 280 points. Two dollars and eighty cents. Okay, yeah, right, big deal. All right, so, bam, done. Um, no other bank that I could find, I mean, that I know of, give you free money like that for just doing tasks. Um, it's pretty cool. And on top of that, they're paying a pretty good interest rate. Let's go over to the bank. Um, the savings rate is 4.3%. That's not bad, right? Even interest on checking, 1.2. Now, they used to be a little lower, and they used to be the same. But... The savings is now higher than the checking, and that's cool. I like it. But if you guys want to make some free money, do what I'm doing, and open an account with that link below, and uh, you will get some free money too. Okay, so you can get a, uh, you can get money for just opening an account. Ten bucks. Put ten bucks in. Bam, cash money for you. Awesome. Uh, you can see here, you can track in my credit score. My credit score took a little bit of a dip because uh, I did apply for that personal loan. So, you know, uh, it'll improve again once I uh, get that thing paid off and then a couple things roll off. Should be uh, should be okay. Uh, like I said before, the invest, super awesome. All right. Uh, you know, I've been uh, balancing, rebalancing a little. I took some cash out of my SFY and I'm putting it in to some dividend paying stuff. Now, this one is pretty good. It's an ETF, but it does pay 11.5%, 12%. So you can see it is so super easy to make transactions on here. Bam, just like that. I just bought one share of the ETF. Where else can you do that? Man, that is so easy. Anyway, guys, if you guys want to do that, you can also do options. I haven't activated my options yet in here. Um, I have a couple other accounts that I do options on. Tasty Trade, Thinkorswim, Trade Station. If you guys follow my channel, be sure to subscribe. Learn how to trade options. That's pretty awesome. I like that doing that a lot. And uh, dividend investing as well. So, uh, over here we have the credit card. Pretty cool. I like the credit card a lot. Um... One, one little issue I've had with it, don't let me do balance transfers. So uh, uh, I want to do a little bit of balance transfer from another credit card and uh, get some free interest, but I haven't been able to do that with this one. So maybe someday they'll have an offer, but uh, if you want to do that, Discover is the place to go. If you guys want to Discover, I don't know if the link's below or another video, go check out my Discover link. You get some free money for that one too. And then the loans, obviously, right? I completed this one. Um, I looked into the auto one. wasn't really worth it. Didn't, didn't finish that one off. Um, but they have all kinds of loans, right? Mortgages, personal loans, student loans, whatever. Pretty much, it's a, like a one-stop shop, like I said. So if you guys are interested in SoFi, I highly recommend it. Get in there, use my link, and uh, happy banking. Oh, one additional thing that I, I did want to mention. Everything at SoFi except for one thing. Uh, if you go over the banking, okay, 
and we say transfer all right if we do a try to do a wire transfer here's the thing you can do wire transfers in no problem but out from SoFi doing wire transfers uh, forget it look yes however at this time we only allow outgoing wire transfers to be sent from home purchases we accept incoming wires from domestic institutions so that kind of sucks okay um, outgoing transfers are only on an exception basis come on guys get with the program now I have other online banks um, I actually put the proceeds uh, from this account from this loan that I got into another account because this wouldn't let me do a wire transfer that's baloney as far as I'm concerned right so if you're doing big wire transfers so far might not be for you all right but I put the money in discover and discover online transfer not a problem yeah they do a two-step verification to make sure you say who you are just because it's a huge transaction you want to get your money stolen but uh yeah so anyway that's a definite negative strike for SoFi that's pretty much the only thing that I don't like about this bank that I found so far um, other than not having a physical bank branch not a huge deal these days uh, mobile deposits work well ATM works good uh, the cards work good credit card ATM card whatever so other than that the wire transfer is a sticking point for me um, but I'm not gonna get rid of the bank I still like everything except for that one feature so just be aware all right guys that's all I have for today be sure to subscribe to my channel and join soon thanks for watching